Hey guys, in this video I would like to take a quick look at Ubuntu 12.04 LTS. Um, so let's get stuck into it. I am currently on the login screen. In the top left hand corner you can see my computer's name. And in the top right hand corner we have accessibility options, keyboard options, a volume control, a basic calendar, you can't see the events etc. Or create any events and we have the option to suspend and to shut down the machine. I have the option to log into my account and there is also the option for a guest session. I personally do not like that this is um, enabled by default. I will probably look to see if there is a way to get rid of it, I'm sure that there is. And we just have, you know, the Ubuntu 12.04 LTS logo at the bottom here. So I am going to log in using my account. As you can see, it's you know pretty fast to log in. Also, keep in mind that I am running Ubuntu inside of a virtual machine. Uh, so let's take a look at the icons in the left-hand bar. We have the dash home, which I will have a closer look at in a minute. We have a link to the file manager, which is Nautilus. I quite like Nautilus. It is pretty easy to um, use. You have all of your drives on the left-hand side here. You know, it doesn't require much explaining really, just your typical file manager. We have Mozilla Firefox. Uh, let's take a look and see what version it is. It is version 11. Um, I haven't been using um, Firefox much lately. I have mainly been using Google Chrome. Though it looks like it's um, the latest version available or one of the latest versions available. We have LibreOffice Writer, Calc and Impress, which are the equivalent of Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint. We have the Ubuntu Software Center, which I quite like. Just give it a second to load. So we have a number of apps here under what's new and top rated. We also have a recommended for you section where you can turn on recommendations. We have um, categories, so if you want you can browse by category. In my case, I can browse games. Then we have um, subcategories, so I could um, choose board games, which is pretty neat. We also have installed applications. This could do with a little more polish, though uh, we have all of the different categories. These are my installed games, installed accessories, etc. Everything that is currently installed uh, was included out of the box. I haven't installed any additional applications yet. So let's click on an application, VLC Media Player. Uh, as we can see, it is free and I have the option to install it and we have a couple of different screenshots here. And we also have a uh, section here, people also installed. We have the version information, the size, the license, updates, and we have reviews which um, come in handy. So I might quickly install that now. It's just asking for my password so it can have permission to install the app. And it looks like we have a bit of a progress um, bar here, uh, you know, uh, to signify, you know, how long it takes to download and install the app. So uh, we also have the progress tab here, which has just appeared. So as we can see, it's currently downloading, though I won't wait for that. We have our Ubuntu Run, which is basically the Ubuntu cloud storage um, solution. You can store files, photos and music. And I believe that you can also stream music to mobile devices. Um, I have seen the Android app. I haven't checked it out yet. Though I might make a video on Ubuntu One in the future. What else do we have here? We have system settings. I'm not going to bore you and go through all of the settings. They don't really change that much. We have the workspaces. You know, um, it's quite easy to switch between workspaces. You used to have to double click. So now when you hover over it changes between the workspaces so you only have to click once which I quite like. Uh, let's have a look at the top bar here. It's similar to um, the bar in Mac OS X. So when you hover over it you get the different options for the application you are currently in. File, Edit, View, Help are the options available for the Ubuntu Software Center. So those options will change for different applications, e.g. Mozilla Firefox. Um, you know, I don't mind that. I'm used to it with Mac OS X. 
uh, we have um, all of the uh, we have um, this section here where you can basically manage all of your broadcast and mail accounts as well as Ubuntu One. Broadcast accounts include Twitter, Facebook, and Identica. I've never heard of or used Identica before. So you can get all of your tweets, etc. in this Gribba social client, which is alright, it's a little bit hit and miss. You can also choose your status, available away, busy, offline, etc. We have all of the different network settings here, I won't bore you and go through all of them. We have the volume control and the rhythm box, um, you know, basic rhythm box features, you know, to play and pause and to go forward and back between tracks. We have the calendar here with, you know, time and date settings. We have the user account, your user or your name should be displayed here, not your username. And you have the option to switch between user accounts. I have my user account and I can switch between the guest session. And I can bring up, you know, the user account settings by clicking there. And in the far right hand corner, I have another link to system settings, display settings, startup applications. It is telling me that updates are available. I'm not going to worry about them right now. Uh, attached uh, devices, printers, I don't have any attached um, printers, though it might be something to do with the virtual machine. I have the option to lock the screen, to log out, to suspend and to shut down. Now let's take a look at this um, menu, or the dash home as they like to call it. You can sort of view it like this, or you can maximise it. I'm not the biggest fan of it, to be honest. We have the recent hats and recent files here, and you can easily you know, search for a program or a file, you know, e.g. Firefox. Uh, what do we have here? We have applications, we have recently used, we have installed, and we have apps available for download. Uh, you can even search for apps available for download. Yeah, that works. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this. It's a bit awkward, you know, scrolling up and down, you know, between all of the apps, you can filter the results, so it's a little bit awkward. You know, obviously, if you know the application that you want to use, you can just type it in and search for it. They're just browsing your installed applications, so it's a little bit awkward. Uh, you can search your files and folders, which are listed here. Uh, you can search your music collection. I've just copied a couple of songs over from my music collection. And you can search videos. Um, this seems to be new, or I haven't seen it before, though it's actually got online results uh, for ABC iView, which is an Australian um, service. And we also have a few YouTube options. Uh, where are they? I believe I saw Life in a Day here before. Is it still there? Life in a Day. And it will take you to the movie on YouTube, which is pretty neat. I also recommend watching this movie. It's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not sure if I have missed anything. Uh, I will quickly show you all of the installed apps, you know, so you have an idea of um, the apps that are included by default. Uh, let's see, Rhythm Box is the default multimedia player, or it's the one that ships with Ubuntu. You can obviously download a different multimedia player if you wish to do so. Uh, what's wrong there? Just waiting for Rhythm Box to open. Hopefully it's going to work. Well, it seems to be playing up a little bit. Oh no, here it is. Okay, so let me basically show you the different sections. We have the play queue where you can queue your music, so it will play in that order. We have music, uh, so you basically have, you know, the artist and the albums um, columns here, and all of the songs are listed here. Um, I wish that there was a way to, you know, sort of view album art, like in iTunes. Um, there might be a way to do this, though not that I'm aware of. Tell me if there is. Um, we have podcasts. Um, I have added a few of my podcasts using the RSS URL. We have, you know, internet radio stations. The absolute radio ones are pretty good. We have Last FM and Libre FM. I don't have accounts with either of those services. We have um, the Ubuntu One Store. There's a lot of different music here to purchase, though to be honest, none of it is um, very mainstream, which I think is unfortunate. 
it might actually become useful if they can get a few major, you know, recording studios to use it. Though right now it's just a bunch of, you know, obscure artists. Um, we have playlists down here. Okay, let's go back and view some more applications. Uh, what else do we have here? Yeah, everything's sort of jumbled up together. You can filter it, though it's all a bit awkward. We obviously have Firefox. Uh, we obviously have LibreOffice, as um, you can see with the icons on the side here. Um, Mozilla Thunderbird must be the default included the email client. We have Transmission, which is the included, you know, um, torrent client. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it, really. Uh, so if you have any questions, then feel free to ask me. Um, I quite like Ubuntu. It has um, continued to improve with every release. Although, you know, I'm still not 100% sold on the Unity interface, to be honest. So yeah, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me or comment below with your opinion. And thanks for watching.